as a freshman legislator, um, I came to Hartford because I really believed that I could have some impact on how uh, government ha to change government to restructure government and um, the deficits that the huge deficits that we were facing, um, the uh, ec economic issues and the uh, lo loss of jobs. And I was really disappointed today when the governor presented his budget. It didn't include a lot of cuts that I thought we would see. Um, it was more uh, uh, sp uh, spending more money as, it, as opposed to making serious cuts that I believe all Connecticut residents really wanted to see. Um, they wanted to see government do what they do at home, um, make significant changes, and we did not see that today. The consolidation um, that the governor proposed today really sort of lacked any uh, bite or teeth. Um, we're looking at $10 million in savings and a $3.5 billion deficit. I'm not sure what he means by when he says he's going to consolidate agencies um, because it doesn't seem like we're really going to realize any significant savings from the way he's structuring it. The way that we have been talking about it in our caucus has been actually reducing the services, some of the services that the state does not need, and reducing staff in agencies. Uh, combining two agencies together and just calling them something else without changing the service that they provide or the staffing does not really, to me, uh, sig uh, signify a consolidation. The biggest shock of all was the um, lack of a shared sacrifice in this budget. When we talk about raising taxes for people who um, are middle class, and which is the majority of the people of the residents of the state of Connecticut, um, almost a 10% tax increase on people in the middle class is significant, significant, and we are um, we are extending the earned income tax credit for people who don't pay taxes. So to me, that's not that just goes against what I think most Connecticut residents have wanted to see. They wanted to see some less impact on our taxes and less spending. Less spending on state government um, does not equate to raising taxes. There's more spending in this budget and there is more taxes. So people wanted to see cuts. People are, are, are willing to pay some additional taxes if they see some real cuts to state government and we did not see that today in this budget.